Hello, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo here in Boca Raton. Uh, kind of a cloudy day out there <laughs> still. Um, but I, I wanted to, to bring you guys back and to look at uh, another bone level case. Um, we were talking before on how, the, how to modif modify the, uh, the Stroman uh, transfer copings, uh, ones that I've modified and also have a video. Uh, again, these are these are just freshly made out of my triad machine. Um, they'll work well for molars, but for bicuspids and anteriors, you're going to need to trim these further in the mouth. Um, actually, what I do is I measure them in the mouth and then trim them um, outside and then polish them. Okay, so we're going to go from the rough phase, okay, to highly polished phase. Now we're we've taken the time to trim. And I wanted to go through some pitfalls to watch for. Okay, so this is a trimmed modified abutment for a bicuspid. It's an upper left uh, number 12, I believe. Yes, number 12. Uh, you can see I broke off one of the upper anterior <laughs> teeth. Anyway, we poured this up in stone first. And the model ends up looking like this. So you can you can take a pencil and just highlight now the crest of the gingiva. And you can see it looks so silky smooth all the way throughout the internal. Now, we had a little slight undercut on the left side here. And you can see some of the model did break away. Just a small, tiny piece. Otherwise, everything's intact. Now, to tell you the truth, <laughs> um, what else you don't see is this particular implant, ha because of the undercut undercuts in it, um, it did stick to that stone model. So. I had to reinsert this back in the impression. It wasn't easy to do, but I did it. So the caution is is to when you do trim these, just make sure the, the, the most apical portion is more narrow than the occlusal portion, all right? And then life will get easy. The other thing to keep in mind also is when you're trimming this amount away, you should be about a millimeter in thickness, okay? Because you do want to keep this part of your impression intact, all right? So for you for your mesial and distal sides make sure you're about a millimeter in between and that you're tapered from bottom or the apical portion to the occlusal and this way it'll stay in the impression all right as your lab's going to want to do at least two pour ups every case i give two analogs with the case and uh, you know a thought occurred to me if you wanted to take a little alcote and just paint it gently on this I'm not sure how that would work out, but it might add a little bit of uh, relief to this area. So when they do a pour up, um, you'll, you might not have any uh, drag in this area or any fractures that occur. If you're severely undercut, you're in trouble. You know, you're just going to lock the case in. And, and you know, you might even <clears throat> at times you can take an explorer, or take some of this orange uh, repressil material, and just you can add it, or you can add some blue material here to make sure that you're not undercut, uh, but it has to be highly polished. Okay, um, for you open trayers, um, you know, no problem, I'm sure, when you're pulling these things from the mouth, uh, but you just want to prevent tearing any interprox. So your dental surgeon is not going to give you one of these. You're going to have to make it yourself. Um, and you might want to hand it to him or her if they're going to do an immediate impression That'll help them make the provisional. So you can start from there. I uh, hope I was helpful on this. Uh, and again, the model work, you can stare at it. It really looks terrific. Um, I have n absolutely no problem whatsoever in using this as a waxing um, jig now for the lab. Uh, they can come in here and, and block out certain areas if they see there's slight undercuts. I like to keep these threads nice and clean all the way down, even in the analogs. Um, we've covered that in other videos as well, how to keep that area clean in there. And also make sure that they have their own basal screw. So you get the uh, the one that goes in the mouth should be pristine. That, that shouldn't be filled with uh, laboratory um, filings and metal filings. All right, because it gets kind of messy in the lab, as we all know. I have an in-house lab. Uh, it's the, the Petro Dental Lab. I also use my other lab as Nielsen Dental Studio in Deerfield Beach. And uh, they're just quality labs all the way. 
um, love to work with them. Uh, they love to work with me. And it's been a real happy uh, time with, with implants for me. And it should be for you. You know, you shouldn't have to struggle with, with the seating or contact problems. Uh, you shouldn't have to struggle with the soft tissue emergence and aesthetics. Um, trying to make life easy. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, again, keep practicing and, and call me if you need me for anything. I'd be happy to come to the phone. Take care. Have a great day out there.